I want to switch gears a little bit and talk some basketball as we kind of head down the home stretch of the football season. It's a reminder that the basketball season is right around the corner. I had a chance to catch up with Dante Payne, the event promoter of the first HBCU women's basketball game classic, the Battle of the Bulldogs. It is a Hocking College versus Wilberforce University junior varsity game, and then at 2.40 p.m., Fisk University against Wilberforce University. And I'm pleased to join, be joined by Dante here in the WCPO High School Insider Podcast. And uh, I want to mention, too, this event is sponsored by On Impact Recruiting Services. And uh, Dante, thanks for taking a few minutes. I uh, appreciate it. appreciate you having me on, sir. Well, uh, tell me about this great event and uh, how it came about and uh, how you came up with this idea. Well, it, it came about my daughter. She was recruited by Wilberforce and Fisk. Uh, I go back with Derek uh, Johnson from uh, high school. I don't know if you remember Cape High School. Sure. Uh, yeah, we both went there. He played basketball, played football. Well, uh, he's the coach at uh, Wilberforce. And uh, like I said, she was being recruited by both uh, Wilberforce and Fisk. Uh, she decided to go to Fisk. You know, I let her make her own decision, which, you know, I'm proud of my daughter, Lee Asia, paying for it. Uh, and I've seen they, they was playing each other on the schedule. The game was really scheduled November 29th, which was a Monday. And I'm like, Derek, nobody's probably going to come to their game because y'all probably going to be on break. And it's on a Monday. I say, let's let's move it to Saturday or Sunday and bring it back to Cincinnati. And we can have it at her old high school, which was Whitman Woods High School, where she just graduated from. I say, it's a brand new facility. Nobody has ever played on the court or on the floor. And I think this would be something special. And, you know, he, he took a couple of days and he gave me some thoughts. And he was like, okay, Dante, let's do it. So then I had to, you know, contact Whitman Woods and present them, you know, the situation of how, you know, I want to have it there. Plus, they promised my daughter like three years ago, uh, this school would have really already been built and she would be the first class to play on it. So she still is going to be the first class to play on it, you know, when we pull this off right here, the HBCU Classic, November 28th. Very cool. And this is uh, goes way beyond basketball, too, uh, Dante. You were telling me a little bit about um, this is all-encompassing events. So kind of take me through the weekend. It's not just about basketball on the floor, but uh, right. a great opportunity, too. So that's Saturday the 27th. We're having a... Uh, uh, day party for like alumni and like the divine nine, like all the fraternities that you see I'm wearing. I'm a member of Phi Beta Sigma Incorporated, the best fraternity in the world, you know. Uh, so like a lot of, you know, Greek and, you know, uh, the divine nine and Wilberforce and alum will be coming up because this is something that's never really been done in Cincinnati. So that's what we're going to be doing Saturday, like a meet and greet. Uh, we're having a comedy show with it. Uh, the guy that's going to be hosting it, his name is Big Boo Man. He's real popular and known, and he's from Cincinnati. So I'm kind of making it like a local event, bringing out everybody. And then, uh, you know, that Sunday, like you said, uh, Hawking College, uh, they they got on board. Uh, I have a lot of players from my recruiting service that goes there. Uh, their head coach is a member of Five Beta Sigma, uh, Coach DJ. Uh, I have a, a cure. Uh, Lanza, she's from Western Hills. She go there. The school that I, I uh, teach at, you know, Dayton and Western Hills is kind of the same. Uh, I have another girl named Kiki that's there. Uh, she went to Sycamore. So, like, I'm tying in a lot of the local female athletes. And then, you know, the Wilberforce JV team has a lot of Cincinnati kids on it and the AAU team that I'm affiliated with, which is Phenom on it. So, like, it's like I'm bringing everybody back home. Uh, we're having a celebrity game. And when I say celebrity, I ain't talking about like mega superstars. I'm talking about celebrities in Cincinnati, like a lot of old uh, UC players, a lot of girls and guys that went to college, you know, pledge that's coming back, you know, just supporting. Uh, I have a, a dance group coming, uh, Black Ice, that's well known in uh, the Cincinnati area. Uh, I have a, a local band, you know, that plays all the local music, the you know, marching band, you know, that's coming uh Western Hill cheerleaders are going to be a part of it. So I, I kind of try to tie in a lot. You know, it's going to be a lot of local vendors. And then, like you said, you know, we're going to have the game and we're just going to have fun. Because it's also, beside a game, it's also, I'm making it like a college fair and just a meet and greet. So I'm tying all of it into one in five hours. <laughs> I mean, what do you think the potential of this? I mean, have you heard from some feedback already? I mean, this could be obviously uh, yes. a great annual event. 
Uh, believe it or not, tickets are really selling faster than what I thought. Uh, right now, we probably have about 16 to 17 vendors signed up, but we almost at capacity at that. Like, it's actually taking off faster than what I believe. Like, people was even asking me to, can they order shirts? I wasn't even thinking about that. So now, you know, I have shirts available. Oh, there you go. I got one on right now. I'll send you one. Nice. Uh, we got all type of colors and everything. So, we, we, I mean, it, it's really moving faster than what I expected. That's great. And uh, tell me a little bit about uh, on impact uh, recruiting services and what you do there and maybe how people can get involved. Okay. Well, I I'll take you back on impact started with my oldest daughter, LaDasia Payne, her junior year, she, she tore ACL. So like all her offers kind of like went through the way and me being like a promoter, I used to promote concerts and parties. I was like, well, since they can't come to us no more, we got to go to them once you're healthy. So I treated my daughter as if she was my artist and the venue was the gyms and her performance was working out for the coaches. And, you know, I recorded everything. I taped everything. Then we start putting it on social media so the coaches can see that, uh, you know, she's back healthy and playing. And at the same time, my youngest daughter was just with us. So she was her, she was her, her sidekick on the stage. If you perform it, her hype man, basically cheering her on. So my, my oldest was performing, my youngest was, was observing and learning. And it, it, it kind of just grew into a business once I put it on social media. Uh, my oldest, she ended up going to Lane College, which is an HBCU down in uh, Jackson, uh, Tennessee. She's like, I think like an hour and a half from my youngest daughter. So it's, it's on the straight line when I go. So that's kind of how I built Impact, uh, just helping kids get into school. Because, you know, I, I went to school, I went to Robert Morris up in Pennsylvania and play football. So I understood and I understand the process. A lot of people, or as parents and kids, they don't understand the process. So I wanted to be that one to bridge the gap and, and, and let them know, like, this is how it works. Yes, no, this is what you should do. This is what you shouldn't do. You know, it's based on your grade, especially in female sports. If you're not a D1 Power 5 athlete, you, you better have the grades and you better have the test scores. You know, everybody keeps saying they're getting full rides and this and that. It sounds good, but no. You got to have the test scores and the grades. So you go get athletic and academic. Put it together. It's a full ride. <laughs> but right. it's just for sports. A lot of people don't understand that and until it's, it's too late. So I'm, I'm that go-between person between the parents, players, and the coaches. Uh, I get a lot of good feedback from coaches trying to help out the kids. And I mainly deal with the inner city kids because that's kind of where I'm from because them, them the kids that's kind of getting left behind per se, you know, not always, but for the most part, I mean, we understand that it is what it is. So I'm always trying to give them extra exposure. And then when COVID hit, you know, I actually benefited from it. I, I don't mean to say it that way, but, you know, I started uh, doing uh, streaming because coaches couldn't come out. So I would stream my youngest daughter games and coaches would see and they would see who we're playing against and other players. I used to have coaches hitting me up saying, hey, can you go stream this game? And me being me, I'm like, all right, as long as my daughter ain't playing right now, I'll go stream it. So a lot of people start seeing it and start gravitating to me. And once I start getting on social media more, like YouTube and uh, Twitter, Periscope and Facebook, I just start building my following. And then that's when the players came and parents came. I just start signing people up for my recruiting services. Start pushing it back out that way. The first HBCU women's basketball game classic, Battle of Bulldogs, Fisk University versus Wilberforce University. And it is sponsored by On Impact Recruiting Services. That is Sunday, November 28th at yes. Wynton Woods High School. Dante, tell uh, the audience where they should go for more information and how to get tickets. Uh, well, personally, you can just give me a call, 513-602-7289, or you can go to our website, on impactrecruitingservices.org. And uh, everything is also available on Eventbrite. Great. And uh, it is so much more than basketball, as Dante just yes. uh, alluded to there. So uh, a great event. And uh, Dante, really appreciate your time. Uh, best of luck to, uh, to you and to everybody uh, operating this event. And uh, we'll speak again sometime soon. Yeah, sure. Anytime. I appreciate it. As you can tell, uh, hearing from Dante there, uh, he hopes to make this an annual event. It goes beyond basketball, but uh, a great idea to have uh, this game placed on a Sunday during Thanksgiving Day weekend and definitely wish him all the best and 
success in promoting this event.